Ah, shit, here we go again. Oh, shoot. Oh, darn it. Just what I need, getting color foamed everywhere. All right. So if you guys have been watching me for any period of time, you know I love my colored foam. Woo! This stuff is fun to use. It looks cool and it's fun for like these little themed videos I like to do. But it comes with some caveats that you don't really think about until after the fact. I think they're pretty important to know. These colored foams do mention these things on the bottle, but you don't really think about it. At least I didn't in a way that was anything meaningful. <laughs> As with a lot of things, I don't really think too hard. So I've got a bunch of different ones here that um, I've used, you know, I've got the Pro Nano ones and I haven't used some of these yet so they're gonna be redacted. You might not see the actual color, but I've used most of these colored foams from Adams. And then these Pro Nano ones are pretty new. Um, I'm actually recording this before I do the, the little fun little video with the pink one, but you guys will already have seen that by now. So there's a couple of caveats that I just wanna mention that you should be aware of when you do buy colored foam because you should, it's fun and uh, it's a little flashy, you know, it's kind of... I don't know what that was, but it's just kind of like, you know, you get to have a little bit of fun with it. So one thing is, obviously these are very concentrated colors in here. They're very concentrated dyes. And because of that, they're going to stain things. I've been using this colored foam in my foam cannon. I've been drying the car, I've been washing it. There's just a lot of steps to all of the wash with the colored foam. So you can see, even though I've used colored foam in here, there's really no, no staining going on. So you don't have to worry about it staining any kind of plastics, <coughs> excuse me, or <clears throat> really ruining your foam gun or anything. Obviously when they make colored foam, they aren't gonna make it ruin the parts that it's supposed to run out of, right? That's just stupid. But there's always that risk that, you know, because it's colored, there's some kind of property to it that might make it more prone to damaging your equipment compared to a normal foam. And that's certainly, there's certainly some truth to that. So what I've noticed is that these foams, they don't do as good of a job as like a normal foam. All right, I'm just gonna say it straight up. I don't know about the Pro Nano, but at least I know with the colored foam, they might use the same formula as some kind of neutral soap, but they aren't really like powerful or anything like that. They aren't really like, they're gonna be like really shining stars in terms of cleaning power. They're more for the flash, right? They're more for that appearance, that fun little video you get out of it. Or maybe just you got it for Christmas because your kids think you like colored foam, I don't know. But they smell really good. They all smell delicious, divine, might I say. You know, you could get them just for the smell alone, to be honest, probably just dump like, if you wanted to change your carpets to orange and have them smell delicious, just dump a load of this on it. Like you would have orange carpet and good smell like instantly. It's like Kool-Aid. As you've seen with my past videos, they do look fun and they are, they are fun and they smell good. Uh, if I wasn't torturing myself so much, maybe I could enjoy the smell a little more. Color foam like lingers around for a very long time. This isn't something you really realize with like a normal foam wash because it's not going to have a distinct color really to it and it's just gonna kind of wash away and you won't notice if there's any residue left, but you will notice if there's colored foam residue left. And I don't mean like just on the outside of your car, but foam kind of gets everywhere in your car if you think about it, right? You foam down your whole car and it seeps into all these cracks and crevices that you're not necessarily power washing or hand washing all too well. There's areas like near the hood or by the trunk or maybe even on the, the roof where some of that color foam can get and it will sit for a very long time because um, you, know, you, you didn't pressure wash it out properly or something along those lines. And you might not think this is a big deal, but if you're using something like a green color foam and you pull out of a parking spot and you see some kind of green substance, you're gonna think something's wrong with your car when it's really just the colored foam has been sitting there for that long. And I, I really mean this, because I actually had this happen to me with the green colored foam. Seems I got some green liquid leak in my car. Might have to look that up, I don't know what that is. Oh well. So normally with a car, a green leak indicates antifreeze, because most cars use a green antifreeze. Mine doesn't, it uses orange. It has two different cooling loops and both of them are orange. Well, it's orange or pink. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, okay? Uh, anti or antifreeze is... The OEM one is orange, but the one that they sell now is like this 
pinky purple. I know it's not green at the end of the day. I'll show a little video of this. I wasn't able to get the full awesomeness because I was a little concerned at first and I didn't realize it was probably the colored foam. So like what I noticed is that um, under the car, there was like some snow buildup and then it was all green, like the snow was all green. And then also when I did my wash outside, there was like a green puddle that was sitting like right in the middle under the hood of my car. I recorded that video about a week after I did the green foam wash, right? So the green foam had really been sitting in my car for a whole week. Like, like I kid you not, it had been sitting for a whole week. Somehow enough of the foam got under my hood to last for a week. That's a lot. Um, and it wasn't like a huge drippage, but it was like a decent amount. So I'd like noticed it and I was like, man, better not be something wrong. I just got this thing back from the dealer. And it turns out it was just the colored foam. Just keep in mind that if you are using a colored foam product, like a 99% chance that you're going to see that color somewhere around your car for about a week. And especially in the engine bay where there's a lot of cracks and crevices and uh, different layers and stuff, like water can get trapped at any layer at any time. And it might not ever come out. It might come out after a week, after a month, who knows. But the point still stands that you do need to be aware that the color foam could be there. If you ever do on a color foam on it, like a, like a customer or something, just be aware of that and keep that in the back of your mind. Because there also could be a case where someone does have an antifreeze leak and then you use the green foam and then that just makes it look even worse. Also another thing is, obviously since this does stain a lot, any type of drying towel or microfiber you use after you do the colored wash is probably gonna get stained. Like there's a 99% chance. You know, I have this like drying towel. I, the car looks like there's no remaining wash on there. And somehow my towel just got stained up the wazoo. So it looks horrible. Like, honestly, it looks horrible. I don't know, it's not a big deal. Like I could still use it, it works fine, but it just looks bad. So if you're like going on a job, you might just look kind of unprofessional. Wow, okay. Hero was thinking I had like blind spots on my eyes and couldn't see anything. So I've used this towel quite a bit since I first like stained it up a notch, but you can see, wow, maybe I just have like blind spots on my eye. I don't know. Can you guys see anything? I don't know, but you can kind of tell it looks grayish here. I guess some of the dye might have come out since I first stained it up. Wow, this is like looking like a blind spot in my eye. It's like tripping me out hardcore. So you guys can see this, right? Because I can't see anything right now. This was initially more orange. It looks kind of grayish to me now. It might just be colorblind though. But I think since I've like used it and still washed it and taken care of it, it's kind of come out a little bit, but it still looks a little goofy. You know, keep in mind that if you get any of this on your clothing, or any like anything like that. Like I ruined a pair of pants because of the the orange foam. Uh, wait, I actually didn't. I don't know how I ruined those. Well, that wouldn't have made any sense because you know I wasn't wearing blue pants when I was doing the orange video. I mean red. <laughs> Stupid. But uh, yeah, just keep in mind that it can stain. You know, it can also linger around. So if you're noticing some kind of abnormal color coming out of your car, it's probably just that. You don't have to worry about any of the dye like ruining the actual body of your car or anything like that. Um, like none of these are gonna stain any plastic or paint, which is a good thing. So they're still safe on your car, which is perfect. That's exactly what you want out of a car wash. Like I would hope they would have at least tested that and they did, so no complaint there. Just think about it. I'm not the best at thinking, so it's good that you know I'm talking about this to you guys and showing you these things because if you're anything like me, you don't know how to think. And I know this has been a little bit more of a sit down kind of still video, but uh, we'll have some fun showing some of these different foams in action. Still got a couple, uh, a few more colors I want to demonstrate and maybe we can do like an RGB, like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do like a rave. I'll get a bunch of glow sticks and we can just do a car wash glow stick rave. It'll be epic. But until then, watch out for the colored foam and pick some of these up. They're kind of fun. They're hella expensive. Oh my God. Okay, so you get four good colored washes out of this. It's one liter. You know how much this costs me? $29. That means that I'm doing like $8 a car wash, which is insane. You know, I'm all doing it for fun and maybe I can hit my grandma up and give her a nice little car wash for free and uh, imagine. <laughs>
it. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys had fun watching this. Showing my appreciation to you all because it's not just me at the end of the day doing this. You know, it's you and me. And uh, I mean, I'm putting a, l a lot more effort in, obviously. Like, watching is pretty easy work. <laughs> but I still am thankful for you guys. And I want to show you that. But yeah, I'm going to call this one a wrap. I hope you learned a little bit some about uh, colored foam and kind of some things to be aware about when you're using it. <coughs> hope you enjoyed me being sick and me also recording the same day as a couple other videos because uh, I'm lazy as heck and now I want to do it all at once. So <sighs> just got to take a breath sometimes and...